go. Okay. Pulling up my, uh, no, we're gonna cut that. Thank the Lord, we are coming to the end of the year. It's been a year that sometimes we just need a little bit of a drink, and you can see me pouring in my little pit barrel mug here some of that Red Breast 12. Man, it's so good. Mm. But what we're gonna be doing today is taking our pit barrel smoker, and we're gonna be cooking a port butt on it. It's simple, it's easy. We're gonna be using just a couple different rubs. The best part is I'm using bacon grease that I've been storing up for a long time, and we're gonna be using that as our binder. Let's get started. Obviously, before we get everything prepped up and ready, we gotta get our fire going. So we're gonna be doing a mixture of briquette and lump charcoal today. And I'm gonna be firing that up with, of course, the Grill Blazer Grill Gun. This thing gets it done really fast so we can go ahead and get cooking. Now, I must have gotten a uh, bad batch of charcoal because there were sparks flying everywhere. So that's okay. We got it nice and ashy, so we're gonna lift this grate up. And we're gonna pour this right on top. Let's see if we can get down in there. That's gonna help light those coals while we go inside and prepare the pork butt. I can see the smoke coming out of the barrel right now as I stand here and we're gonna go ahead and prepare this beautiful pork butt that we got from Heritage Farms over in, uh, in North Carolina. They make Cheshire pork, which is selective breeding and it's beautiful, tasty, literally the Ferrari of porks. And to top that off, we're gonna be using the bacon grease that I've been saving up and for some amazing flavor, I'm gonna be using the Smoky Dust Hog Rub and some Bad Byron's Butt Rub. We're just gonna mix that in and it's gonna get some good flavor. But before we do all that, I need to score this fat cap here just to make sure that we lock in all that flavor. Next, we add the bacon grease. Our base coat is gonna be our Bad Byron's butt rub. And finally, we're gonna add the Smoky Dust Hog Rub as our flavorful top coat that's gonna give us a great bark and some amazing flavor that's gonna pack a punch at the end of this cook. We're back outside, I've got the port butt over here and we'll be using our trusty Williams-Sonoma Bluetooth thermometer that I use on almost all of my cooks because it's Bluetooth, I can connect it while I'm inside and it's really easy to use. It comes with an app and everything and it's made by Maverick Technologies which is excellent. So we're going to take a peek in, see how it looks, we'll see all that smoke rising up. Here we go, slow-mo, real cinematic. Oh. Cool. And looks like the coals are cooking as they should. We're gonna take this pork butt and put it right in the center, just like this. And we got the fat cap down. So all that juice is gonna sip right onto the coals. Create a steam effect, a nice vortex effect, and then it's gonna come out real nice, juicy, and flavorful. Thank you. 
So we finish the final touch before it comes out smoky, moist, and able to pull apart because the Maillard reaction and that fat melting inside, the bacon and the seasoning making some amazing crust. And hopefully in about six to seven hours, we're gonna have this beautiful port butt pulled apart so that I can serve my friends and my family for a delicious meal. We've hit our internal temperature right around 195, 196. That's when I like to pull the pork off of the smoker and we're gonna let it rest for about 15 or 20 minutes so that those juices reabsorb into the meat and makes it a lot, lot juicier. Now, I had to wrap it because it hit a stall at about 160 and it stayed there for almost an hour. So I wrapped it in some heavy duty aluminum foil and it went right back up. We're gonna bring it inside where it's a little bit warmer and we're gonna let it rest and then we're gonna dig in. It's been 15-ish minutes, uh, but by the magic of YouTube, it's been just a split of a frame there. Um, and let's take a look and see how it looks. So, you can see that we've got some lots of juices. The au jus is what they call that. Um, it's very tender, very moist. Now, here goes the most important test. Kind of come at this level right here. This is the, uh, see if the bone, well, first of all, look at all that color right there. But we're going to pull the bone out and just see if it slides right out just like that. Oh, yeah. So, this is probably I mean look at this this is probably the juiciest pulled pork I've ever made look at that smoke ring wow so we're gonna pull this apart and uh, then we'll do a little bit of a taste and this is gonna feed my family my neighbors everybody is gonna fall in love with this pulled pork So we've pulled just a little bit of it. You can see that we still have some left over to pull, but um, I've got it here on this cutting board. I know some people like to mix it in sauces and different things, but this is the juiciest pulled pork I have ever made in my life, I believe. I believe I would win contest with this. Um, it's so good. So we're just gonna do a quick little taste test here and see how moist and delicious it is. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. That is super, super delicious. And grab another snack. This recipe is going to be a great way to start off your new year. Hopefully, we have a lot of health coming in and people getting better and food always makes things better for me and that's why I'm about 726 pounds. But I wanna wish you guys a happy new year and thanks for watching the Grill Marco channel. And if you like this movie, I mean this movie, this video, make sure to smash that like button, the subscribe button, and uh, here at Grill Marco, we do grilling so rare that it's well done. We'll see you next time.